Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the SkyDrive app to save files that you want to share in the cloud computing network if you are signed into your computer using a Microsoft account. The SkyDrive gives you 7 gigabytes of free storage space to which you can upload documents, pictures, videos, Microsoft Office files, and many other types of files. You can access SkyDrive by clicking the SkyDrive app tile within the start screen when you are signed in using the associated Microsoft account. Within the SkyDrive app you will see any files that you have uploaded and any folders that you have created in addition to the three default folders named Documents, Pictures, and Public. You can click the folders shown to open either the Documents, Pictures, or Public folders. After entering a folder, you can click the back arrow button in the upper left corner of the screen to return to the previous folder. Note that any items that are added into the public folder are shared by default with any contacts that you let view your Microsoft account profile. You can change these settings within your Microsoft account online if desired. We will show you where to change your account settings online momentarily. To create a new folder within the selected SkyDrive folder, simply right-click into the blank area of the screen or swipe up from the bottom of the screen to display an options bar at the bottom of the app window. Then click the New Folder button within the options bar. Type a name for the new folder into the text box that appears above the bar. And then click the Create button to create a new SkyDrive folder. To add files to a folder, right-click the empty area shown within the app window or swipe up from the bottom of the app window to display an options bar at the bottom of the screen. Then click the Add Files button within the options bar to open an app files window where you can select the files to upload to the selected SkyDrive folder. Click the files to upload within the Files window to mark them with a check mark and add them to a listing shown at the bottom of the Files window. Once you have selected the files to upload, click the Copy to SkyDrive button to upload the files to the SkyDrive folder that you selected. You can open a document stored within SkyDrive by simply clicking the icon of the file shown within the SkyDrive folder window. Windows 8.1 will then open the file using the associated app or program. For some files that are selected, you can click an Open With button that appears within the Options bar to display a pop-up listing of the available apps that you could use to open this type of file. You can click the name of the app within this list to change the program used to open the selected file type. If you right-click a file that you have uploaded, you can then click the Make Online Only button in the Options bar to make the file only accessible when you are connected to the Internet. You then need to click the Make Online Only button in the pop-up box that appears to make the selected file an online only file. Now if you make a file online only, you can right-click the same file and then click the Make Offline button that appears in the Options bar to also make it available when you're not connected to the Internet again. Once again, you would just click the Make Offline button in the pop-up box to confirm the change. You can manage the files that you upload to your SkyDrive by right-clicking the file to select it with a check mark and display the options bar at the bottom of the app window. The most common button choices shown in the options bar are Delete, Copy, Cut, Rename, and Paste. If you click the Rename button within the options bar, then you will need to type a new name for the selected item into the text box that appears and then click the Rename button to rename the item. 
If you click the delete button in the options bar, you will then need to click the delete button in the box that appears to confirm you want to delete the selected item. If you select the copy or cut buttons within the options bar, then you will need to navigate to the folder you want to move the selected item into and then click the paste button within the options bar to move the file to the selected location. Note that you can also click the clear selection button within the options bar to remove the check mark from a selected SkyDrive file or folder if needed. Note that if you want to view the folders within your local This PC folder, you can click the drop down arrow next to the SkyDrive folder title in the upper left corner of the app window and then choose the This PC command to view those locations. You can then click the same drop down again and select the name of your SkyDrive folder from the drop down to return to your primary SkyDrive folder. Note that to set default sharing preferences and other account preferences for your Microsoft account, you must sign in to your Windows Live account that is associated with your Microsoft account email. You can simply open Internet 11 and then visit HTTPS Profile dot live dot com then you will be able to access your Microsoft account information you can click the drop down in the upper left side of the screen and select the SkyDrive link at the top of the page to manage the files within your online SkyDrive folders as well as other online information associated with your Microsoft account Starting in Windows 8.1, you can also manage your SkyDrive files by using the File Explorer window within the desktop. To do this, open a File Explorer window and then look for the SkyDrive icon within the navigation pane at the left side of the window. You can click it to select it or any one of its subfolders. You can also navigate to other folders and then cut, copy, and paste files and folders between the local files and folders as well as the SkyDrive files and folders as long as you're connected to the internet and using the File Explorer window. Using the File Explorer window can often be useful to delete files from the SkyDrive folder if the SkyDrive app seems to hang when deleting files from the SkyDrive folder. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.